guys, welcome to Tasmania TV. Today I am doing my collective haul for July and I'm just gonna get right into it. We're gonna start with six items from Shein. To keep things interesting for you guys and really show off the range that Shein has, I actually picked six products from six different categories this time so that it's not like six dresses or six jackets or you know. So I have a dress, a pair of leggings, a skirt, a set of pajamas, a pair of shorts, and a purse. Let's take a look. First up is the dress, which is a fitted camo print dress that I know some of you have seen already because I wear it a bunch of times in photos on Instagram and Facebook, and I love this dress. It's three quarter length, has thin straps, and soft, comfy, and elastic fabric. It just hugs the body without anything feeling tight or uncomfortable. It looks really good with boots too. Next up, let's take a look at the pajamas. I sleep in the nude except for when we have people sleeping over or when I'm sleeping over at somebody else's house. And I needed a pair of summer jammies. So I found these, which are super cute. There are tons of versions of this type of pajama on the Shein site if you like the style, but you're not feeling the with you it's magic. I got it in a pretty big size because I wanted the fit to be loose for full comfort. The fabric is very soft and comfortable too. So I have slept like a baby in this thing. Okay, let's check out the leggings. They are camo print, nice and soft. Again, elastic and not overly tight. Asymmetrical slits down the front of the legs, not see-through at all, so you actually can wear them as trousers if you want to. I like wearing long tank tops with leggings for maximum comfort, and obviously they look totally badass with combat boots. Item number four from Shein is a bright red skirt. This thing is so cool, you guys. High-waisted, completely plastic looking, which I fucking live for. Not too short, which can be the case with skirts like this a lot of the time. Two buttons and a zipper at the top. Just such a great, fun club skirt. And obviously, I'm still wearing the red pajama top with it here. So uh, yeah, you get the idea. The fifth item is a pair of camo shorts. And I have worn these like crazy this summer. The denim is so soft and stretchy. The length of the shorts is perfect as it keeps the thickest part of my thighs from rubbing together in the heat. They have pockets, a nice raw hem, and a great high-waisted fit. I wear these both as just a pair of everyday comfy shorts at the summer house and stuff, but I can totally spiff them up and wear them to gigs and things too. And then the final item from Shein this month is a purse. The brand is Bahikneiga, I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, which is what the creative white print reads as well. Black and white with a nice chain detail, a detachable strap, meant to be worn over the shoulder crossing the body, which shows off the chain in a great way, but I wanted to be able to wear this as a hip bag or a fanny pack, as the model works for it, so I got out my trusty hole puncher, added an extra hole, and voila! It can now be worn across the stomach or on the hip as well. It's a great party bag. It has one big main compartment and a small one in the back. And Shein has given me a new discount code for you guys. This code will give you a discount on the Swedish Shein site, so shein.se. The code is 7tasmania15, as one word. And it gives you 15% off all orders over 599 Swedish krona. It is valid until September 30th, and I'll put that information in the caption box as well, along with all the direct links to the items that I have direct links for, so all the Shein items, but for other stuff that's gonna be later in the video as well. If I have the link, it's gonna be in the caption box. Thank you, Shein. Let's move this haul along, shall we? Next up, I have a bikini from EMP, which if you're in Sweden means emp-shop.se. If you want to find a more local EMP site, give it a Google. EMP is an online shop for all kinds of fun alternative fashion. They do everything from band tees, boots, dresses, and jewelry to collectives like pop figurines and stuff. The bikini I got is, surprise surprise, camo print. It's a triangle tie-up model and I just decided that I needed to have a bikini like this and now I do and I absolutely love this. 
Next, I have a pair of boots to show you. These are from ASOS, and as you can tell, they are a bright neon yellow, much like I enjoy doing my hair every now and then. And this is making me want to go yellow right now, but uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the boots are a cheaper version of the Dr. Martin Jaden boots. They're vegan and very soft in texture, more lightweight than Doc's though, but obviously also of lower quality. But they were pretty cheap, and I don't plan on wearing them every day like I do with my docks, so I think they're gonna work great. They were true to size, I got them in a European 39, which is my standard size for boots. They don't have a zipper like the Jadens do, but both the faux leather and the laces are very soft, so they're still easy to take off and put on. Nice and comfy, like I said, and yeah, I'm gonna enjoy putting together a fun outfit with these as the standalone piece, I think. And now I have a bunch of thrifted items to show you. I went to a lot of different flea markets this summer and found some goodies. First we have two cardigans. The first is of course leopard print, very thin and soft fabric, long enough to almost reach my knees, which is great, and not really meant for keeping warm, but great for hiding from the sun or just wanting a nice printed detail for an outfit. The second cardigan is black and in a slightly thicker knitted material without being itchy. I had a cardigan almost identical to this that I loved to death, but it disappeared, so I was very happy to find this replacement cardigan. It has pockets, and it's also long enough to cover the butt, which is perfect for wearing over a short dress on a chilly summer night. Then we have a dress, black and white stripes, sort of short skater dress model, but with a short little sleeve, stretchy and comfy in a soft jersey fabric. I plan on sewing some kind of patch to the chest of this dress. I also got a pair of stretchy jeans in washed out grayish black. Perfect, just standard model. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep these jeans intact or if I'm going to cut them up and do something fun with them. We'll see. I also found a hip bag that is identical to the one I got a few years ago, and I absolutely love that one. I've worn it to bits, and I was pretty excited to find another one just like it. You attach this over the stomach or hip and then across one thigh. It rests nicely on the side of my hip and has a great and sturdy material. The bag has five different compartments, which is perfect for easy access to small things that tend to get lost, like lip balm or keys. For my old bag, I did the Catwoman stitch all over and added some tank girl patches. For this one, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet, if anything. Then I got this red net top that I think could be fun to punk up and wear for gigs and such. I will probably cut larger holes in it or just distress it in general. This kind of net fabric can be a little uncomfortable, so we'll see if I keep the long sleeves or not. And the final thrifted items are three t-shirts that I won't be trying on because I'm gonna be cutting them up into tank tops anyway. The first is a white Motley Crue tee. The second is a black and red Psycho Billy hot rod one, and the third one is a Combi Christ t-shirt. As I went to see Combi Christ play yesterday, and uh, I, before doing that, I cut it up into a tank top. So there's a photo on Instagram if you want to see what it looks like. Next, I got this set of Bikini Kill Riot Girl pins that I might actually all put on that one hip bag you just saw. These were purchased from a UK-based seller on eBay. And pins are just a fun and simple way to get some instant detail on things that you want to make stand out a little. I have a problem with pins falling off all of my shit, unfortunately, which is why I don't usually get all that many of them. But since these are all on the same theme, even if half of them fall off, the point still comes across. So I'm gonna enjoy using these. Oh, and finally, just really quickly, I got some more piercing jewelry from Crazy Factory. These are all for my double vertical helix piercing, and they're not all that exciting to look at, I guess. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what I got here. It's basically just different bars and various attachments. Those were all the items I got this month. Again, you will find discount code information and all the available direct links in the caption box. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time.